All right, you guys, today we're taking a look how to make foamy text with bubbles here in Adobe Firefly. So let's take a look. And also, if you want to check out how I made these green liquid versions, you can find the full tutorial with the prompts and images on my Patreon page. So the very first thing we're going to need to do is go up here. Make sure that you're on Firefly Image 3 Preview. Now here you got the aspect ratio as well. I usually go on widescreen is 16 by 9 because I use my brand name, which is made out of six letters. Now make sure that you don't use text, which is too long because it's going to crop it. Make sure to keep it nice and compact. I'm going to go with maximum six letters. You can try it out with one letter, but this is more advanced. And also another very important step you need to do is go to the content type and select photo. If you don't select the photo, it is going to generate all kinds of paintings and whatever it wants. Now from here, let's go down here to the prompt and I'm going to type in black foamy liquid with bubbles, studio lights, scan, isolated on white, and I'm going to go with front view. Now let's click on try prompt. So this is what I want. First, we're going to need to generate the bubbles and foams and this kind of effect. And then we're going to apply it on the text. So for example, I'm going to download this one because it looks really nice. Click on download and I'm also going to go with this. If you like some of your images and you want to generate some similarities, you can go to the edit and click on generate similar. And it's going to reproduce this image in multiple perspectives. So for example, the last one also looks really nice. I'm going to click on download. Okay, so after you selected your images, now we're going to import the reference image with the text. So I'm going to go to the reference, click on upload, and I'm going to search for the reference image. I'm going to select it, click on open, continue. Also very important, make sure that the text is black and the background is white. And now when I say the background is white, I don't mean it's a transparent PNG. Make sure that the background is white. Let's push the strength all the way up to 100. Let's scroll down. Here we got the styles and click on upload. And now we're going to select the reference image with the bubbles that we made. So I'm going to select, for example, the middle one, click on open. And then here you can see at the options, we got the visual intensity and the strength. Now, the more you customize these, the different results you're going to get. So I'm going to decrease the strength right now to zero and also the visual intensity to zero. The more you increase the visual intensity, the more stylization is going to give. The more you increase or decrease the strength is going to switch up the silhouette of the logo or the font. But anyways, I'm going to click on generate. Let's see what we're going to get. And you can see See, we got some really nice results. It's generating this brown coffee beer. I don't know what kind of liquid, but it looks pretty cool. Now let's increase the strength to 50%. Click on generate. Now as you can see, with strength zero, it is going to fill up with bubbles around the letters. And with strength 50, it is going to fill up inside with bubbles in the letters. So let's go on and increase it to 100%. Generate. And now it made some even crazier results but these are not that good. So I'm going to decrease the strength, for example, on zero, and I'm going to increase the visual intensity. I'm going to go to 50. Let's see what happens. It is going to try to stylize some of the letters and put the bubbles around. This actually looks pretty good. I'm going to click on generate again. Wow. So we got like really cool results with the visual intensity 50. These actually look really nice. So I'm going to increase it to 100 generate now it did some really funky results with a lot of painty effects like in the previous one but this one is like even more stylized i think it looks even better and also if you want to upscale the resolution of your images to really high resolutions i'm going to leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well and pretty much this was it thanks for watching <laughs>